Hello, and thank you for joining another Front Insider Tip. My name is Joe, and today I'm excited to talk to you about the Service Level Agreement, or SLA Builder, in Front. Now, SLAs are such an important part of the way that many of us do business with our customers, but traditionally they've been a bit tricky to manage. And thankfully with Front, we've got that covered. So if you're a Front Admin, head on over to your settings. And from there, we'll choose Rules and SLA underneath the team that you're working within. Okay, let's build a new SLA rule to see how it's built. All right, time to build. So what's this SLA about? In this scenario, it's going to be about our operations inbox. Now defining the scope. This is just saying what inbox or inboxes are being targeted with this SLA. So as mentioned, operations. We can also choose to apply additional conditions here if we'd like on just about anything that happens in front. Or we can go to the time limits. So our SLA is breached, let's say, at the four hour mark. But before we define our actions, there's one other piece here that I think is super valuable and I really urge you to implement in all of your SLAs. And that's the warning. By setting this, let's say at three hours, a warning will be surfaced to our team at the three hour mark letting us know that in one hour, that SLA will be officially breached. Okay, let's define our actions. So adding a tag, this is a great place to start because it gives you that immediate indicator visually when you're scrolling through your inboxes to see, oh, this, LA is, this SLA has been breached. Let's make sure we're focusing our attention there. And we can also choose to proactively notify teammates. So I like to be notified whenever an SLA breach happens and I know Adina and Adele do as well. Additional actions can be taken, but I think this is a great place to start. And we can define those similar settings for the SLA warning. So let's notify the same teammates. And there you have it. You create the SLA and now you have this powerful rule working in the back end to make sure that those SLAs are being upheld. But there's one other piece here that I'm excited to show you. So let's go back to the SLA rule that we just created, the operations inbox. And you'll notice that an analytics report was automatically created by creating this rule. So this will take you to the analytics dashboard. And this is a custom built report specific to that SLA that you just made. So for the operations inbox, we can see resolve conversations, total conversations, the breaches, the warnings, everything we'd want to know and measure ourselves against. And there you have it. You now have the rule, you have the analytics report, and now you can make sure that those, air, those SLAs are airtight. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to your customer success manager or success at frontup.com. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.